global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. The Fulanese are giving their demands to the Bauchi state government. Fairly recently we've had a lot of clashes, a lot of killings in Bauchi state. But this time around they're stepping out to give their own demands. And you won't believe what it is. So, but before we go on with details of the news, if you're not subscribed, just hit that red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Let's look at the details of the news. The Bauchi State Administrative Committee of Inquiry into Land Disputes set up by Governor Bala Mohammed to look into farmer stroke headers crisis in the state has received a memorandum from a Fulani sociocultural group, Dado. Pulaku demanding 4% of the total land area of the state. Mm. The demand was contained in a memorandum submitted by the group to the committee yesterday where it stressed that the government should ensure the full implementation of the Cattle Root Law of Bauchi State 2018, which enforced the non-cultivation of both sides of all major roads in the state by 30 meters from the drain. Jesus! In the memorandum by state chairman Muhammad Aminu Tanko, the group claimed that headers were being threatened with intense hostility that were having a multiply effect every year and on daily basis. According to the memorandum, and I quote, he said, the most pertinent thing being the fact that all those challenging our right to live and choice of occupation are the most gluttonous protein be beef eaters and addictive milk consumers <laughs> nomadic communities all over the world are never known to be parasi parasites but major contributors to the economy of the nation the memorandum which demanded four percent of total land mass also stated that the nomads had serious challenges in all the 20 local government area of the state with the most cases common in eaters so Gadu, Gan Gandua, and Bauchi local government area where some village heads along, along with land officers are apportioning grazing reserve and cattle routes to themselves and selling to individuals. It is a fact that our people suffer most in the hands of village heads, the district heads, and greedy land officers in the local government. It is our opinion that for a permanent solution to the escalating conflict between farmers and headers in Nigeria as the most pressing security challenges of our time, which has the potential to degenerate into more violence and bloodshed, government at all levels must step in and address the issue squarely, no matter whose ox is gone, the group added. Really, really interesting. Oh boy, the balls. The balls is uh, these guys have got a lot of balls, you know, <laughs> for them to say what they are saying. And look at how they are accusing me. Parasitic uh, they, meat eaters. <laughs> they, 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 are, they are calling the, uh, the people that they are glutinous protein beef eaters, <laughs> an addictive mean? milk consumer. And since that is who you are, they you are giving instructions on mm. what your, the, the, the government is supposed to do. And guess what? If they start with Bauchi and they have that you know, way. a clay part there and that they, they, the, the, no, that that's just the going to be the, the, norm. the norm. Exactly. That will be their demand everywhere. If you don't want us to continue to kill you your must, own people, you, can just imagine. you have to give us what we need. And guess what? They are very specific. Said on the roadside, you have to ensure 30 meters from the drain it shouldn't be so out. No, no cultivation. They, it is their own. It's their own cattle route. And this is really interesting. I, I, I don't know how mm. the government would take this. But yeah. If you ask me, uh, they should give them because to me that uh, northern part is predominantly. Uh, they should be for grazer. Grazer. Southerners don't do cattle very much. But if you ask me, they should just come out not to follow their demands. After all, that's that's not nice. You know. Come to some sort of dialogue. Give them. It doesn't have to be on that drainage. You, everything they're saying, you don't have to dance to their tones or to their terms. But just give them a place of their own 
okay that is duly supervised where they can read their cattle if it is permissible because everything is all about the governor of the because that's the chief security officer the governor of the state but i feel that having that boss even calling people who eat their uh their their, their it's a huge insult it's an insult as if you cannot live without it do you understand then mm -hmm. even giving them very terrible names i feel if you want dialogue the way they're even going about it they don't even want dialogue that they, they, they want to take it by force Exactly. Okay, but you know, now the question the is, are they even indigenous? If they are indigenous, then I think the government should look into it, really. Their government should look into it. Give them a particular place and they shouldn't exceed them. They shouldn't ask for more. Maybe look at the place that is conducive. I thought they would even do Roga in that place. <laughs> That's what I was thinking because they were asking for Roga in the whole of Nigeria. No, just do Roga in a particular place. If Bauchi is good for it, then they should the do it. The truth of the matter is, today it is 4%. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's going to hit 10%. Next tomorrow, it will be 50-50%. That's 50%. Next tomorrow, it's going to be 60 Before you know gradually. They're like flood. The when it starts, is, it doesn't end. Are they indigenous? From all indication, if they because are indigenous, they wouldn't be saying all of this. I can assure you, you if they are indigenous. You can't, as an indigenous, be asking for 4%. It's your right. Exactly. It's your right. You have your own so which means, local government to stay in and all of that. Which means there are foreigners who come into the land. Exactly. Now, if they are foreigners that come into the land, they have no right to demand for four percent. Have no right to. And the condition is, if they don't give them, they keep killing their enemies. Exactly. And that means they're terrorists. And that is why people have been emphatic about this issue of them being um, prescribed. prescribed. And nobody is giving a listening ear. They're even, not dialoguing. They're exactly. Even this you. issue, the way they are talking about, calling it the case of farmers, hey, uh, they're just, uh, they're they're there's nothing like that. These guys are gloves. these guys are out to make sure that they take over your land anyhow. And I think this thing, whatever these people can do to correct it, because very soon they will be so surprised what is going to happen. Let's just look at some of the responses of Nigerians to this demand. <laughs> This one say, imagine Fulan is having the audacity to forcefully demand for people's it's land amazing. as a treaty for peace in their own ancestral land. You just imagine. It's terrible. Another person here says, this one says, government of the cows by the cows <laughs> for the cows. It's it's not it's not a joking matter, you know. I, I, I'm, I, it's my so fear, troubling. My fear hearing is this. like you rightly said. After from four percent, I was thinking they were actually indigenous of the land. Okay, but that if they're not indigenous of the land, then you shouldn't don't don't. That's the same mistake Katsina governor did um, during the time of the bandit. He agreed to be paying them some sort of salaries so okay. that they will stay peaceful okay. in Katsina state. They can take their words outside the state, but definitely not Katsina state. Look at what eventually happened. They became comfortable. Out of his allocation money, he will still be paying bandit money a salary. <laughs> so that peace will reign. You don't do don't treat banditry with kicks. Exactly. Gloves. Exactly. Handle it with hard hand exactly. as much as you can. Deal with it once and for all. Now they are coming giving you conditions. Next time they will not give you conditions, they will just act. Exactly. So if you are the chief security officer of the state, Start acting now. If you need to form vigilante, you need to protect. You need to start wearing a taking cap and protect your people. Because honestly, they elected you there to first protect them and also protect their property. Now, if you can't do that, please step down because it's needed. It's needful. That's you have failed in your constitutional powers as the governor of the state. Now they're giving four percent, and you can imagine the way they're even asking for it with insults. Insults. You can't do without us. That's what they're saying. But that's a, if you ask me, that's a, that's also another challenge for Nigerians as a whole. They say you can't do without their milk. You also cannot do without their cow. Hey, start raising cow. If you can't raise cows, raise goat. Exactly. Raise snail. Raise chicken. Raise something. Just raise protein of some sort. Raise fish. So that when they come with their cow, say, mm -mm, Otoge, carry your cow and go. No, we don't want it. Someone says here, and some people will claim... These atrocities are not perpetuated by the Fulanis. Fulanis are the bandits. Imagine asking for four percent of someone's property with impunity. My brother, it's it's a disheartening. I don't even know at this point. I seem to lack words to fully express their attitude towards those in Bauchi. This one, then very soon they will have the names to demand for certain percentage of land to in Southwest. We donate all our Igbo, uh, Irumole and Igbo Awo for them. And we wish them and their cows well, mad and mad people. All right. 
And this one here says here, after that they will demand 30% of the land and much more. It's, it's just normal. This rubbish can't happen in my state. My brother, don't it say it. Happen, don't. No. <laughs> I don't, God forbid. I, I, I even want can to you do... imagine someone from other countries demanding for land before peace can reign? I advise the governor to also supply his people weapon to defend themselves so that by the time they come, it will be fire for fire. Nonsense, people. This one here says that's actually not right. Okay, someone say if to say Buhari no be president and grand patron of Meiti Allah, nobody for the hear about this blood sucking guys call. Fulani people. This one said that's actually not right. I have data on Fulani clashes with other natives across Nigeria as far as back as Obasanjo years. The difference now is that the clashes are moving south. They have been killing in tens and hundreds a long time ago. I can post them here by date and location. Of course, they have more affronts now, being that their grand patron is the president. Well, at this point, I think that uh, the Bauchi guy need to table this issue before the Senate. Bring up this issue. Bala Muhammad needs to wake up. Bring this issue before the Senate and see how they can deliberate. And those representing them needs to they need to talk well here and see how they can correct this thing. Because I can assure you that if they give them that piece of land that they are looking for, very soon you will be so amazed. They will take it. They will take it even to the point of taking their roots. These guys are like flood. <laughs> Any time that the thing come upon them, they will cover every way. I mean, before you know, you won't be able to stand them. Well, that's what.